Hey and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you a tool which you are definitely missing out on if you guys aren't using and the tool is called Flux One and it's completely free image generator and this is how the actual interface to generate images actually looks like. So in this video I'm going to compare it to the Leonardo.ai tool. I know that Leonardo AI is quite a refined model and well established in the AI community so I think it's a fair thing to do to compare compare it to this and right now let me just show you some of the results of the Flux AI generative model. So now after you saw these images, make sure that you go to my channel or go below this video, make sure that you smash up the subscribe button. And if you guys like this kind of content, make sure that you also check out the links in the video description below. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So this is their homepage. I will also put this link in the video description below. And here on this page, you can see basically some of the examples of the Flux AI. I think that the actual images don't look that bad. I think, in fact, they look quite nice, actually. For example, this one right here, I think this is a really cool image. If you click here on Get Flux, you will see here that you have three models. The first one is Flux One Pro, then we have Flux One Dev, and then the last one is Flux One Schnell. In this video, we are going to use this one right here, and I will also put a link for it in the video description right below the like button, by the way. Now let's go to their interface. Now this is their interface, it looks like this. Now here we have this link, which I'm also going to put in the video description below. So you guys can just try it out for yourself. And did I already mention that you can also use their model locally on your computer, I believe. So if you go here to the GitHub page, you can just clone the repository. And I believe you will get here the similar results just on your computer. So this is really, really cool. But now I'm going to show you how this program actually works with the web in interface. I'm going to just go here to leonardo.ai where I pretty much get all of my prompts here from. Let's try this one right here. I'm going to copy this one right here and at the same time I will insert the same prompt to leonardo.ai with their latest model called Leonardo Phoenix, which also has auto prompt enhance. And then I'm going to put the same prompt to the Flux AI as well. Then we are going to compare those images as well. So here on leonardo.ai, I will click on this prompt. I will just insert this one right here. By the way, if you guys are using the free version of leonardo.ai, you guys can always upgrade by using the link in the video description below. That way, you get to support the channel and it actually doesn't cost you anything more because for example if you upgrade to Maestro Unlimited you will get around 60,000 fast tokens which is really really cool. I highly suggest that you guys use the link in the video description below and upgrade to one of more premium versions of Leonardo.ai. I think it's totally worth it and that way you also get to support this channel. Now let's go back to the image generations. So here I, as I said before, I also put this prompt inside here and as I mentioned I will use Leonardo Phoenix model which is the latest and greatest model from Leonardo.ai team. Now here I will leave auto prompt enhance enabled and for the preset style I'll click on dynamic and now what I'll do here I'll just click on generate right here and let's see what the Leonardo.ai will come up with. Meanwhile this is generating let's go to the flux generator online interface and as I mentioned before you can find the link for it in the video description below. Now I'll paste this prompt right here and here down below we also have the aspect ratio settings you have 16 by 9 which is standard you have 1 by 1 you have 9 by 16 or 9 by 21 i will go with 16 by 9 so we can then compare it to the actual image creations of leonardo.ai for the number of outputs i will go with 4 which is the maximum but you can just go to 1 if you want to and here down below we have the seed which i will leave empty and then down below which is very very important you have three output settings the first one 
is WebP, the second one is JPEG, and then the PNG. Keep in mind that the PNG format is lossless, so you don't get the actual quality loss of the format. So here, this is why I will choose PNG format. However, you can also go here to the JPEG and change the output quality. So once you have all the settings dialed in, I'll click on run here and let's see what Flux will come up with for this exact prompt. So here we have four of the examples and I will pick the one which I think looks the best. Here we have the last one, we have this one right here, this one and this one. So I think that the competition is between the third one and the fourth one. I think that actually that this one looks the best. I think it's really, really cool one. And let's go here to the Leonardo.ai and let's see what images Leonardo actually created here. Yeah, I think that the third one and the fourth one look the best so here we have this one right here and we have also this one right here and because i think that leonardo actually used the auto prompt to enhance let's go to here and i will turn this feature off and I'll go back to the flux generator and I will copy the same prompt once again and let's see once more what the Leonardo AI will come up with. Yeah I think that the end result of the flux actually doesn't look that bad. It has this kind of blur effect. We also have this foreground in the front and we also have the main character of the image which are those flowers. So right now let's also take a look at the resolution of the images. So here if I just click on edit image we could get the resolution so here is the basically resolution of the image you can see that the current one is 1344 by 768 and meanwhile leonardo.ai came up with the image which is the resolution of 1472 by 832 pixels. So here you can see that it's a clear win for Leonardo.ai because the images or the outputs are clearly in a higher resolution. In this case this one is in higher resolution compared to this one which is a bit lower. But nonetheless overall the image I think that this one looks better compared to Leonardo.ai. AI. Yeah, I think that the Flux overall is a great, great model to use. So if you guys, for example, don't have any more tokens, if you have, for example, free account with Leonardo.ai, then using this one would be a great alternative. But nevertheless, keep in mind that you guys can always use my link in the video description down below and upgrade to one of more premium models of Leonardo.ai. That way you will get much more tokens to use for Leonardo.ai and many other features will unlock as well just like for example enhanced quality and many others so yeah with that said this is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys got a clear view of these two models and if you guys haven't already make sure that you smash up the like button subscribe to the channel with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next video peace